still got fight in me yet. Double demon fang. It's weakened. Double demon fang. This ends now. Now it's good. We got two of you crazy Did you just kill me? Yes. I need you, remember? Right. Double demon fang! Throw away! Try harder! Try harder! Here I go! He's dead! Hula blade! What? Infernal toy! Dragon sword! We got your lurking! Why'd you kill me? To stop you dying? Right. Coming through! Ha! Now! Scarlet Inferno! Don't mind if I do. Here, let me help. Caliburn! Oh, hey. Go get him! This is a weird call! They're not playing around! Dragon Swarm! Blood! Go toss him! Flame of Fury! Dragon Swarm! It's gonna You're attack! You're healing right! Watch out! Yes! Dragon Swarm! No! Fight! Fight! Lush your blood! Swarm Blade! Try this! Inferno Torrent! This one's mine! Swallow Blade! Pissed off! I'll turn you back to the best of it! Easter! Swallow Blade! And more of this will burn out! Astral Energy! Say no more! I still got a ways to go! You must really like it, Alfin. Hey, did you make off with that armor while none of us were looking? Because I've got to admit, you look pretty snazzy in it. He didn't steal it, if that's what you mean. Gregan gave it to him as a parting gift. Ah, right. Although it makes sense, I guess. It's like a symbol of rebellion in its own way. Which is why it should have been your father wearing this, not me. I don't know. I don't think he could have pulled it off like you, man. 
I wonder what the last wearer of this armor was dreaming of for Cislodia when they decided to rise up and fight. Who knows? Anyone who could have answered that is long gone. Truth is always lost with the departed. Are you saying there's no point in trying to understand why they gave up their lives? No. Only that it's impossible to know for sure. Look, I can tell that you're concerned about Cislodia's future. But we do have other things to take care of. You can't shoulder all of the world's problems, Alfin. If you try to, you'll only find yourself buried by the weight of it all. Yeah, I know. My path is forward, and I'll do what I can, here and now. Hey, Winwell, do you always have to say an incantation before you cast an art? Yeah. They don't really add any extra power or anything, but reciting them is what allows the astral energy to come together and flow through me. It takes time to complete, but they're what lets me use such strong magic in the first place. What happens if someone interrupts you while you're in the middle of chanting? Then I have to start over from the beginning. As soon as my concentration breaks, any astral energy I've accumulated disperses. Got it. So once you start reciting, that's our cue to make sure that no enemies can get near enough to disrupt you. Yeah, that would be appreciated. Although, I do have one fun trick up my sleeve. Once I finish chanting a full incantation, I can hold on to a single astral art without casting it right away. So once the astral energy's in place, you can choose to set it off whenever you want? That's amazing. Yeah, I don't fully have the hang of it just yet, but I'm sure it'll come in handy sooner or later. What are those things I sometimes see you chuck out in the middle of fights? What? You mean my bombs? Bombs? As in the things people use to clear out rocks? But I... That's because these aren't ordinary bombs. They're specially made ones filled with astral energy. Hmm. Okay. And why do you shoot the bombs after you release them? It's a part of my strategy. The effects of my bombs change when I fire bullets of a different astral element at them. It makes it difficult for enemies to predict what effect they'll have, or when they'll go off. One moment you're using powerful bombs, Next, you're using powerful healing arts. They're kind of on the opposite ends of the spectrum, aren't they? Think of it this way. If you ever get caught up in the blast of one of my bombs and you manage not to die, I'll be able to heal you using my arts. Hmm. I'll do my best to not die then. Finally made it. I see. Right. What's going on around here? Yeah. The there might be someone who could use our our help. Hmm. Hey. Right. Oh? All right.
Finally. If only we could have flown with the wind to get here faster. Looks like we get to sleep with a roof over our heads. Good. This came out just the way I hoped. Maybe it's time I try on something new.
I'm impressed how well balanced this thing is. Finally made it. That looks like the Zugal we were told about. Little help! Turbo Demon Fang! Like Talent Storm! In here! Portal Blade! This will come to us! Water! They're here! Yeah. Yeah. the Zugo we're looking for? It'll be a breeze. Get in, get out. That should be enough to make the area more safe to travel in. as I think it is? I hate camping out. It'll be a breeze. Get in, get out. We Eat this! Together, that wasn't even a problem. Just pointing it out. 
These little ones are hardly worth our time. Barely a blip on our radar. Why bother fighting them? Because I certainly won't run away from a battle. Like it could be worth something. here now. Hey. Huh? Till next time. Hmm. Huh? Yes. Of course!
Maybe something's going on in the forest. Thanks for... Letting me stick around, you guys. Sure. We're happy to have you. But are you sure you don't want to head back to Calaglia? Yeah. I'm not sure how I can help yet. But for now, I'm going to follow Alfin and see what happens next. Where does that drawbridge connect to? No idea, but I've seen it get lowered. It can't be lowered from this side anyway, so it's useful. I won't forgive you! Demon Fang! Right. Come and get it! Swallow a place! Anything in order is wrong! Crazy Demon Fang! I'll smash you! Nice, Bob! Yes, Demon Fang! Get all the love! Come on, I'm here show. too, you know! Well, someone seems in tip top form. Nothing new about that. And still as humble as ever. Now, this? Well then, let's keep moving. Calaglia, right, Law? Hmm? Oh, yeah. It's scalding hot all the time there, so I was shocked when I learned Cislodia is the exact opposite. Not to mention dark. Not anymore, thankfully. How did you even manage to cross the border between realms? All five realms are supposed to be closed off due to the nature of the crown contest. What? Is this an interrogation now? I didn't mean it like that. I just figured if a Danon like you was able to slip between realms, it could come in handy later. Ah, good thinking. I don't think I really did anything all that creative, though. What? Don't tell me you climbed over the walls of fire. Oh, hell no. Not even Zoogles could do something that crazy. Nah, I stowed away. In what? Oh, you'll like this. The realms don't maintain much contact with each other, but there are resources each is looking to trade for. So, there are cargo convoys from each of the lords that go around a few times a year to lend those resources to each other. Oh yeah, I remember hearing about that. 
That was the only time the gates of Calaglia would ever open up. Right. Obviously, they don't let Danons ride with them. So I snuck on board inside some cargo instead. So you were carried out of the realm? You did great not getting caught. Way to go. Eh, let's just say I've always had a knack for sneaking around since I was little. I was also really desperate to get the hell out of Calaglia at the time. I had more guts than brains that day. If I had a guess, I probably wasn't the first one to ever do something like that. Danon or Renan. I wonder if that's how Menic, I mean, Ganabelt, was able to hear about what happened in Calaglia so quickly. So in other words, we should always assume that the enemy is informed about whatever it is that we may be up to, wherever we go. As soon as I'm done here, I'll come help out. Okay, girl, let's say no. These little ones are hardly worth Less talking, more pummeling. Didn't even break a sweat. Improvement. Talking, more pummeling. Let's keep our eyes on the prize. <sighs> What's wrong? Uh.
Really? Ah! Sure. <laughs> hey. Ah! Right. Right. Nice work. What? Hey! Well? What? Very nice. <laughs> Boy, talk about a spry old man. I can't wait to see him again. You really liked that apple Ooh. pie, didn't you? Ooh. Heck of a lot of fish swimming around in this pond, huh? Are they edible? Sure, they're edible, but we've got no way to catch any. Maybe something's going on in the forest. Famished.
hate camping out. It'll be a breeze. Oh, get in, get out. And again. Good on it. I'll end you. You're all Both ways are ready. Ready. Yeah. Your power is a spectacle to behold. I'm not very keen to that. Stay. Look at the park. Embrace it. I'm not sure you saw it. Where's Evil? Swallow Blade. Free Panther. Our work is done here. Let's move. I'm right behind you, Shion. I guess even someone as fashionable as you. How come you don't have a scar on your hand? A scar? What do you mean? The Crimson Crows all tore off their own spirit course, right? But your hand doesn't show any signs of ever having a core like theirs. Why not? I don't know. I don't remember anything about myself from before Doc found me. Seriously? You have that mask, you don't feel any pain, and you just happen to know how to fight with a sword? No way. You must remember something. I'm not lying if that's what you think. Believe me, I wish I knew who the hell I am, but I don't. It's funny how I didn't have any time for soul-searching while digging up rocks in a mine. Still. Are you saying you've told us everything about yourself? Zephyr. It's bad manners to pry when you've got plenty to hide yourself. <laughs> <laughs> You're not gonna ask me about my past, too? Only when I think it's necessary. You're a real man of mystery, I'll admit. That said, I'm not one to dig around in someone's business just out of curiosity. If you remember something and feel like sharing, you're free to do so. For now, I think that's good enough. Right. Thank you. Zephyr, why aren't you concerned about who I am? You feeling left out, son? No, it's not that. But... You said you wanted to fight so that you can live a free man. At this point, that's all that matters. Even if it somehow turned out you were a Renin, it wouldn't be such a big deal. A Renin? Until we know who you are, we can't rule anything out. Besides, we've already got Xion with us. At this point, what's one more Renin as long as they're on our side? So you don't see every Renin as an enemy? Our goal isn't to hunt down and kill all Renins. We only arm ourselves as much as we need to, to set ourselves free. If you can believe it, not every Danon agrees with what we're doing either. Are you saying we have enemies among the Danons? Uh, not quite. They're just not up for rebelling, per se. The thing you have to remember is that everyone has their own path to walk. I'm not sure I understand. That's okay. Just focus on what we have to do right now. However... The time will come when you'll need to decide what to do for yourself. Rinwell, don't go too far ahead. You never know where Zoogles might be lurking. Oh, we'll be fine. We've been able to handle them up until now. Still, better that you hang back a bit. No way. I'm the one who asked you to come here in the first place, remember? Yeah, but if we lose you, we won't know where to go. Besides, it's old guys like me who should be sticking their necks out first. But... 
We need you in order to get in contact with the Resistance in Cislodia. So stick close until we find them, okay? Okay. Thanks. Now you've got me wondering. How'd you make it to Calaglia in the first place? I find it hard to imagine you didn't run into Zoogles along the way. <sighs> Are you good at hiding or something? Uh, yeah, that's it. I'm just really good at staying out of sight. Wow. Still, you had to have been pretty lucky to have made it the whole way unscathed. Lucky indeed. As if this place wasn't cold enough, it's also pitch black. I'm amazed anyone can live in this realm. Seriously. Having all this snow everywhere makes it harder to walk or get anything done. And not having any light to see by makes the uneven terrain even more difficult. Calagli is no walk in the park either. It's dusty and there's rocks everywhere. And it's on fire all over the place. Yeah, you're right. Now that you mention it, all those fires are a pretty weird phenomenon. They were always so annoying to navigate around. Out here, fire's as important as water to our survival. So are the trees we use for firewood. Is it that rare to see the sun here? Not just rare. Until I went to Calaglia, I'd never seen sunlight before. I'd only heard about it. I couldn't believe just how hot and bright it seemed to be. But I guess in most realms, it's just a fact of life. They're used to it. It's pretty interesting, isn't it? The way the sorts of things people take for granted change from one place to another. Hey, so, uh, about my magic. You want to keep it a secret, right? Yeah, sorry. A little late for that after what happened in the village, don't you think? Uh, Easy, Shion. It's just... Hmm? I didn't want Zephyr to die. That's why I used it. I know. And we might have lost him without your help. So thank you, Rinwell. Sure. <laughs> I forgot to mention this before, but... Any enemies we go up against with real hard defenses, you just leave them to me. Hard defenses? You mean like enemies with shields and things like that? Shields, shells, armor... Whatever. When you attack those kinds of enemies from the front, your blows mostly get blocked, right? Sure. So you're saying you have a counter? It's nothing fancy. Let's just say I have a knack for busting open tough, sturdy stuff. It's hard to explain, but I focus my energy and then hit a specific point with everything I've got. If I do it right, their defenses come crumbling down. Really? But without Astral Arts, how could you possibly... If he says he can do it, then he can do it. We can trust him. <sighs> Thanks, Alfin. Although, between you and me, right now there's nothing I want to bash in more than Ganabelt's stupid smug face. I think you'll get your chance soon enough, Law. Hey, hold up a sec, guys. What's up? We need to talk about Ganabelt. This guy can control both light and lightning, and I've heard his swordsmanship is unrivaled. I'm not surprised. He is one of the top lords, after all. That's not all. He also has these weird little gadgets that he likes to use. Gadgets? You mean like some kind of a Renin weapon? Probably. He's got a bunch of these things that hover all around him. They're supposed to protect him from attacks coming in at any angle. I take it there aren't any blind spots, then? Nope. Which is why I plan to bust down his defenses from the front. What? Why? Isn't that where his defense will be the toughest? That's why it's worth attacking. Once I poke a hole in that bastard's defenses, the rest of you can tear it wide open and give him hell! All right. We go with your plan, Law. Now let's get going. It's about time we got revenge for Zephyr. I came out great! Everyone's gonna be real surprised! Rinwell, mind if we chat a little? Hoodle, come here, sweetie! Woo! Good boy! What are you doing? Ah, uh, it's flying practice. Hoodle doesn't really like to leave my side, but if I don't make him spread those wings every now and then, they'll start to weaken. It's important he practice it. Also, I'm pretty sure he put on some extra weight. Ooh. 
Probably because everyone keeps sneaking him snacks when you're not looking. I knew it! I thought there was something fishy going on. Oh, it's really not good for birds to be overweight, you know? Oh, really? Ah, uh, I'm sorry, Rinwell. You were feeding him too? You haven't been giving him anything he can't eat, have you? I'm pretty sure everything I've given him has been okay. Just to be sure, though, why don't you tell me what he can't eat? Huh? Oh, uh, yeah. Is something the matter? No, no, not at all. It's just, for a really long time, Hudo was the only friend I had. So on the one hand, it makes me really happy to see everyone be so accepting. But on the other, it's a bit of an adjustment sharing him, you know? Every one of us can see that he's like family to you. I can promise no one's trying to ignore your feelings or anything. Yeah, I'm sure you're right. I'll talk to the others about it later. Hudo, let me know if you sense anything. Another day, another gold.